What we're going to do today is we're going to standardize the warm-up for all the sites. So everybody's going to do the same warm-up at every site so that anybody moving from site to site knows what the warm-up is. The point of the warm-up is to get your body ready for exercise. If it's cold outside, you want people crawling out of bed, uh, coming to class, you want them warmed up before they start exercising. So it, depend, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, doesn't matter who it is, what type of client they are, good shape, bad shape. We want to do a warm-up to make sure everybody's prepared. So today's warm-up, we're going to standardize it. Everybody's going to do the same thing. I want you to teach this to your clients so they know what to do when they show up to class. And the goal is to get everybody doing the same thing so that when they show up to class, you can focus on new people that are coming into class and you don't have to lead warm-ups. Everybody's doing the exact same thing at the exact same time so that you don't have to worry about that. You can worry about the new people coming into class. So let's standardize our warm-ups. Make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, getting their body prepared for exercise, and we'll move forward from there. So we're starting with the cardio portion of the warm-up. You can decide how far you want your people to go, but it's just a forward run. Then you move into a side step shuffle, clicking your heels together. Make sure they lead with their hip. They're not stepping forward, they're stepping clicking those heels together, that's very important. Keep their knees slightly bent. Then we're gonna go into a hop, I mean a skip. Keep the knees up high, trying to get up in the air, not just going forward. You wanna get those knees up in the air. Try and get them to stay up on their toes. And there you go. This exercise works your hip flexors and your hamstrings. So you got two different versions, go ahead, go. One is balance, where she's not holding on to anything, kicking that foot, moving forward and backwards. That's gonna help them work on their balance. And then if you have someone that can't hold their own, own balance, then you put them up against the wall and they're gonna kick that exact same motion. Obviously, whatever they do on one side, they're gonna turn around and do on the other side. I'd say do about 10 kicks per leg. They're called your hip openers. You're gonna start with your knee, bring it across the front of your body drop it all the way out, step down on the ground, back into the squat position. Then you bring it the opposite direction. So you go across your body, then across your body the other way. Always coming back to a squat position. This is gonna help you lubricate the hip joint. So doing any side step straddles, jumping jacks, any of that kind of stuff that we do, this will help with that. Again, 10 per. Next one we're gonna work on our joints from our lower body through the mid body. We're gonna start with our feet together, hands on top of your knees, three times clockwise. Rotating your knees three times counterclockwise. Then you're going to spread your feet apart. Hands are on your hips, rotating at the hips. Shoulders stay square. They don't move the shoulders. They're only moving the hips. Three times clockwise, three times counterclockwise. Then you keep your hips square, and then you're going to move your shoulders. Three times clockwise, three times counterclockwise. All the way down, all the way down, all the way through the whole range of motion. There you go. Bend all the way over. Three times counter. Very good. Work on the quad stretch. We're going to keep our feet shoulder width apart. Then you're going to snap up the same foot into the same hand. You're going to hold it for three seconds. One, two, three, and put it down. Then you do the same leg but opposite hand. One, two, three, put it down. And then you grab it with both hands. One, two, three, put it down. Then switch legs. One, two, three with the same leg, put it down, opposite hand. One, two, three, same leg, put it down. And then both hands. One, two, three, put it down. Next one we're doing is a downward dog. Everybody's gonna get down on the floor in a push-up, modified push-up position. I want those heels to touch the floor. And what you're doing is you're gonna push those shoulders towards your toes. You're really trying to get into a good pyramid position. Push the shoulders towards your toes, try and get those toes, or sorry, heels to touch the ground. You're stretching your calves and your lower back right now. That's a downward dog. Body, we're gonna hit a chest stretch really fast. She's gonna put her arms up and then 90 degrees. She is leaning forward. He's not pulling back. She's leaning forward. So she determines how much stretch she gets by walking forward or leaning forward. You're gonna hold that for 10 or 15 seconds. They switch partners. The next exercise is gonna be hands behind the back, interlock the fingers, push them straight up in the air. Try and get your uh, uh, arms parallel to the ground. If you can't get them parallel to the ground, that's okay as long as they're stretching that chest and shoulder. And the last one is the tricep stretch. Once you get the arms up behind the head, then you wanna spread those feet apart, lean the way you're pulling, so you stretch your lats as well as your triceps. Switching sides, 
hold it five to ten seconds per side and we should be good to go for our workout.